Well, on the show, so we did the show when our first son, because I'm pregnant now, yeah. but when our first son was eight months old. So we were new parents, and we were navigating kind of um, what new parents go through, which is focusing all the attention on the baby and kind yeah. of gathering your wits on that. Um, so I think just both Chris and I, we needed to reconnect in a different way, in the way that we did before um, our first. And so I think that's kind of what I was getting at when I was saying I did need more affection. Also, I was eight months postpartum and feeling like shit, so <laughs> I just needed a little like compliments here and there. Well, she was <laughs> eight months postpartum, <laughs> so I mean... I'm a sensitive in general. Yeah, Des, Des is definitely sensitive. She's got, I've got a big heart, okay? I've got a big heart. Yeah, and when you have a baby, I think it changes the dynamic of everything. And so maybe that's where I was... Get, that's what I was getting at when I said that. It's way yeah. different, I would say. Yeah, this is, this is more talking about problems regularly, it, whether you have big problems, small problems, depending on the couple, right? Um, whereas The Bachelor and Bachelorette was more talking about how you're going to make a new love relationship work or what you foresee. It's more positive and it's just in the a little, sense of yeah, what you're more, talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's more positive. Yeah. This is a little... You're not harping on all the negative. You're kind of well, you do only this, you seeing do, yeah. the positive. Yeah. <laughs> it was very interesting to have so many different personalities and so many different backgrounds and so many different relationships Yeah. Um, in one house. But it was fun. Sometimes yeah. I'd be sitting on the couch with my drink like... I am watching TV while being on TV, and this is amazing <laughs> because what was happening was so dramatic for us because yeah. it's not our daily life. Um, but it was interesting. Yeah. I actually, we learned a lot about other people as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, I feel like the whole cast kind of got along. I really got yeah. along with all of the women. I really loved Kwani, and I actually I became friends with Audrey too. Aubrey? <laughs> We're friends, I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey, yeah. You still, well, yeah, and you still I mean, talk to Kwani here and there. Mm -hmm, she's, yeah. Kwani's also going through pregnancy right now. She's got a baby, so that's something yeah. that they both can relate to still. And all the guys were obsessed with Pauly D. <laughs> Infatuated. <laughs> Infatuated. <laughs> he was surprising. Like, I don't, I don't remember watching Jersey Shore at all. Um, and, but everything that had been described about the show and him was pretty close to on point. Like, he worked on his <laughs> he hair was, a lot. Uh, yeah, Great yeah. hair. But he was, but he was pretty, actually he was really pretty mellow. even kill, like, even on Jersey Shore. Oh, from what I, I don't know. I think so, was he? I don't remember. All I know is he was pretty even keel in the sh mm -hmm. uh, during marriage boot camp. Mm -hmm. Surprised me He's a little bit. He's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, for Chris, for Chris to put himself out there in that vulnerable way, it's a little bit harder for him. So I feel like it was harder for him to feel comfortable in that setting. Um, I mean... I don't know about embarrassing. Maybe not embarrassing, Maybe but... Just, I think one of the bigger things is that we're pretty normal, like, as far as, like, if you, like, a public relationship is concerned, we're pretty normal and, like... Like, we went to back ourselves. to our jobs. Yeah, we went back to our real life. Uh, well, like, like, to our passions and kind of live our life in Seattle not looking for any type of fame or anything. Yeah, so, so some of these are just like opportunities that pop up that we're like, okay, we'll do that. And then you get put in the newspaper or the magazine. And then, and then that's fun for some of our friends and family. Yeah. To see I think, that, but. Um, but talking about like the relationship part being, because, I, because we met on The Bachelorette, people do have a perspective or a like idea of who we are and not really knowing our everyday life, um, which is fine. But I think it's interesting because I think coming off of a show like The Bachelor or Bachelorette, there's a lot more pressure because there's all these expectations and all these like opinions coming at you and you're, so you opinions. have to really, um, yeah, just focus on you. I think there's actually more of the, a lot of times I think people want the negative, like, uh, some, maybe it's 50-50. Maybe I, it just depends. I think that a lot of couples like that get together on the show have to be careful with deciding, you know, do, do they want to be together as a couple or do they want to be together because they want some fame and, you know, not yeah, really fortune. Right. You can't say fortune from this, these shows. But, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you want to be famous or do you want to be, like, together in a couple and live your real life? And so I think that partly the reason we're successful is, again, because we're more, like, wanting yeah. to just do us, right? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. 
But it's hard now because you don't know the people, uh, like the contestants or whoever that's going on the shows and their intentions because now it is so popular to like go on and get a million followers. Whereas when we went, it, you know, social media wasn't so big. So Which is crazy because it was really only five, five years, years ago. ago. I mean, we were on 2013. And yeah. so if you like look at the time lapse of social media, like it was just starting, even though it was only a few years ago. And now yeah. it's massive. I mean, literally in five years, you see yeah. people just having different intention, I think. Yeah, I would say that marriage boot camp was an opportunity for us to maybe actually have to talk about things. <laughs> Whereas when you're in your everyday life, you kind of just go about life, you know, and if something, the smallest thing is bothering you, it just kind of accumulates and then it happens and you blow up at each other or something. But um, on marriage boot camp, you really had to discuss things as you know, the activities were happening. So I think it was good for us to be able to bond and reconnect.